Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> my name is Ademola Badmos and um, we today we'll be talking about using Cypress 10 to run DDD. So in order to do that we would um, do the following. Let's just begin because um, it's not that different from um, what is obtainable from the old version. And in order to under understand Cypress 10, please watch my videos on um, introduction to Cypress 10 called Cypress 10 at a glance. So I uh, will share the link to that uh, playlist. It's just a short playlist of six about about six videos. So it can put you through how to set up Cypress 10 and the um, structure of it. So let me open a new folder to start our Cypress 10. Okay, so we are already in the classes video, where a classes folder where we did everything before. So we call this maybe CY BDD 10 for Cypress 10. So we open this folder and uh, we begin work from here. So as usual, we um, because we have done previous, if this is your first time, please watch my previous videos and do not forget to like and subscribe. But in the previous videos, I've talked ex extensively about Cypress, how to set up and how the folder, folder structure looks. So in the subsequent videos, I will not be talking about those because I have talked about them previously. So I will open my terminal. I talked about how to open terminal and um, how to navigate to the cor correct folder to in the previous videos. So be sure to watch that as well. So the things that we'll need to do as always, we'll start with an empty package.json file, which has been automatically created using that command. Or we could just do an npm in it and decide what we want, how we want our package.json to be structured. But we can easily just do npm in it, um, iPhone, iPhone Y to automatically create it. So from then on, we can now install the things that we need. Now, unlike before, we can say install Cypress without putting the version at the back. So it will install the latest version of Cypress, which is Cypress 10 for us. So Apart from that, what do we need? We will probably need our normal Cypress fill command that I have introduced in the past. Then we will also probably need um, the preprocessor for um, for Cypress 10. I did mention when I was talking about BDD in the last in the previous version that. Uh, the 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 bdd repository has been upgraded and uh, it is now owned by someone called baitball on um on on github and um so there is a new version to install so if you um, do uh, cypress umba preprocessor which was the former one you will see the next one there which shows that this is the new owner um if you see here it did say that the repositor has recently moved from the brain family who were the owners before to him so this is the new and the latest version and it is compatible with uh, cypress 10. all right so what we would install is this and aside from this we would install the Cypress Webpack preprocessor as well. So we can copy that and add it to the list of things to install. Then also at um, Cypress Webpack preprocessor. Now, there are three ways to unbundle your bdd plugin your gherkin syntax into cypress there's the browserify way there's the webpack way and there is the uh, there is one other way i've forgotten the name but um, once i remember i would uh, probably add it in the description as well 
but um, the common and the easiest way is through the web pack so what does the web pack do the web pack um, helps to unbundle and uh, allows you to plug in your uh, cypress uh, your cypress uh, the cypress cucumber processor so we need all this we need the cypress field command to extend the command folder we need the bait ball cypress cucumber preprocessor to set up cypress and we need the web app preprocessor to unbundle the gherkin syntax to be resolved by cypress so we are going to install everything at a go press enter and then wait for it to finish the installation so once the installation is done we are going to uh, open the cypress runner for the first time all right and um, we'll end the video here so in the next video we would uh, probably copy and paste picture files the same things that we did in our previous videos for uh, bdd we are going to try to do them in um, in cypress here so what we are going to do right now is we are going to launch cypress for the first time here we can go ahead and also do um, put a flag browser chrome and put a flag e to e so this will just automatically open the cypress runner and configure e to e for us or we could just leave it as npx cypress open and we begin to pick the options one after the other so i'm going to leave it as npx cypress open since we've been doing that in almost all videos except the cypress 10 at a glance let's just do this and move through the other processes manually so the, if i put the e to e flag it would have selected this for us now if i had done if we should have selected this and automatically taking all this configuration for us then if i click continue it would have selected chrome and started the e to e testing in chrome you can try that on your own and use that command and see what it will do so uh we can create an empty spec or just leave it so i choose to leave it and uh, we'll create the rest manually so now we have the folders and it's missing just one folder which we will just put by ourselves that's the e to e folder all right so with the e to e folder that's that takes the place of integration folder and um, that is where you write all your test files so with this done we in the next video i will show you how to do the remaining configurations so that uh, so that uh, the bdd can work with your the bdd can work with your um uh, with your um the bdd can work with your cypress framework thank you so much for watching and uh, please do not for forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video thank you bye bye